Trucks? What are you doing in my garden? Oh, we're just trying to draw, Grandpa Ted. As you see, I chose to draw you. Oh, and it's lovely, Alice. And if you really like to draw mini trucks, then I can really help you become talented and actual artists. Let's go to truck control! Yeah! yeah! in charge of decorating the Trucksville Center Square. You'll be aided with a brand new paint mod. Yippee! But to succeed, you must be sure to listen carefully to Leah, the talented artist's instruction. Oh. She's the one who drew the first comic ever about Super Truck. So cool. I'm going to program the launch pad. Now be creative, Mini Trucks. Four, three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Hi there, mini trucks. I hear that your grandpa has sent you to help me out. Yes! I have already sketched the outline of Super Truck and you will color it in. Do you feel up to the challenge in honor of our great Trucksville hero? Yeah, it's up to us. I'm gonna paint his bodywork in red! That's a good idea, Alex! And I'm going to paint the windshield in yellow like me! <laughs> Super! I'm gonna do the wheels blue! Um, just be careful not to... Oh, the green suits him so well! Oh no, my graffiti! Wait, hold on! Hey, would you stop? You're drawing on my part! Plus, you're drawing so badly! It's not true, I'm pretty good actually! Don't panic, because I'll rearrange that! Some green! <laughs> oh, good heavens, Mini Trucks! You must be meticulous. If not, then we won't recognize the picture. Look right here. Hmm. Uh, yes, it's true. We could have done better. Dear Mini Trucks, tell me, what's wrong with this? Well, we mustn't go over the lines. We must be careful with one another. Exactly, yeah. But you are very lucky since I brought some solvent. Some solvents? Yes, that's right. It's a paint remover. Allow me to fill up your units. Okay, Lisa. Now use your glasses and tell us what we're supposed to do. It's working. Alex, can you take care of the upper part, please? Jeremy, the middle. And Alice, around the wheels. Bravo! Now that everything is clean, I can redraw the picture. Admire the artist! Hmm? Ah! Wow! So cool! I have never seen a truck draw so quickly in my life! Now do you understand what you're supposed to do, Mini Trucks? <laughs> we must concentrate! And follow the outline of the drawing very carefully! Let's do this! I'll do the eyelids, and you do the body. Super! I promise to be careful this time and not go over the lines. And I am going to paint the eyes and the decor. I'm going to paint the propulsion unit, and that way I don't get in your way. Yahoo! Woohoo! Yahoo! Yahoo! Wow! Have you already finished the work? Yep, they're just so good, these mini trucks. I see the mural is a real success. The Trucksville Town Center Square is much prettier this way. In fact, for your work, I think you all deserve the Lucky Painter's oh, Car. Yeah. <laughs> and now we can paint everywhere! Yeah, like real truck art pro painters. <laughs> <laughs> Tag you, Alice. That means you're it now. Wow! What is it? Grandpa Ted! You see? Oh, 
Oh my gosh! Huh? That's the Truxville hot air balloon, and it got loose and is being carried away by the wind. Someone must mm -hmm. go and catch it and attach it back to where it was. Grandpa Ted, this is a mission for us, isn't it? You're right, Alex. Everyone to truck control. Woohoo! According to my radar, the hot air balloon has just landed in the Trucksville forest. That's great news! We'll just need to pack it into our trailers and then bring it back! <laughs> I'm afraid it won't be that easy, Ellen. The hot air balloon is too big to be transported by truck. It will need to be brought back to Trucksville through the air. Through the air? And how will we do that? Kim, the scientist, is already setting up at the spot. I called her so that she can help oh, you to fly. I'm programming the launch pad. Oh, now you're oh. on the Trucksville forest! Oh, yeah. Yahoo! Four, three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Hello, Kim! Hello there, mini trucks. Are you ready to fix the hot air balloon? Yep, we just need to blow up the balloon. Isn't that right? Exactly right, Alex. And naturally, to blow up the hot air balloon, we will need some hot air. A bit like from our breath? Yes, Jeremy. So if we all blow together in this ball, that means it just might work? You can try that, sure. <gasps> it's working! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> yes, it is true that your breath is warm, but to blow up a hot air balloon, we will need air that is a lot hotter than that. Like air as hot as fire? Precisely, Lisa. Oh. You can see that just over the pod, there's a burner. For it to work, it needs gas, but it has just run out. Do you know where we can find some more? Hmm. I can see that Amy the Mechanic's workshop is really close by. Oh, yeah. She surely must have some gas. Alice, can you guide us? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Hello, Amy. Hello there, Mini Trucks. What can I do for you today? We are in the middle of helping Kim the scientist repair the Trucksville hot air balloon. But now we just need some gas for the burner. Do you have any? I'll go and check right now. Wait for me here. Uh -huh. I did think that I had a few cans of gas somewhere. You're in luck because these are my last. Good luck with fixing the hot air balloon. Thank you, Amy. Well done, Mini Trucks. You found some gas. All we need now is to pour it into the burner. Super! We just need to get it off the ground is all. Yes, but not straight away. A hot air balloon follows the wind. If we want to bring it back to its rightful place, we must wait for the wind to blow in the right direction. Huh? And in which direction is the wind blowing now? For the moment, it's blowing in the direction of the snowy mountain, Jeremy. Oh, that's the opposite direction of Trucksville. Exactly right. And that's the reason we must wait before blowing up the balloon. <gasps> Alice, no! no! <laughs> Lucky for you, I have exactly what you need. Drive into my tune-up tunnel. Woohoo! This is perfect. Super! And with these as our guides, we can direct her easily. I will guide you all the way to Trucksville. Thank you, Alice. About turn right. Woohoo! Let's tie it down. Yep, there's a rope just for that in the pod. Amy, can you help us? Right away. Bravo, Mini Trucks. Yes, the hot air balloon has been saved. You all deserve the cup called the Masters of the Air. Yay! So cool. I just hope this one won't fly away. <laughs> Listen to this, Mini Trucks. Ah. For the Trucksville Festival, Chef Cookie is going to attempt the impossible. He's going to create the biggest cake ever made in the history of the world. Will he be successful with this? Oh! And perhaps we might need some help. That's true. 
And if we can help him, you never know, maybe he could really make the biggest cake in the history of the world. Oh, yeah, that sounds so cool. Grandpa Tad, can we help him? Of course. I'm sure he'll appreciate the help from some apprentice bakers. Now everyone to truck control. To help Chef Cookie, you will need to prove yourself through efficiency and logic. But I don't understand. Why would we need logic for baking? <laughs> you will soon find out, my young Alex. But first things first, I will equip you with mechanical arms, and I'll program the launch pad to send you to the bakery. Ah. Trucks, are you ready to get stuck in? Yeah! For today, we're going to bake some shoes for a big cake. Bake shoes? Yuck! A cake made of brake shoes! <laughs> no, no, Alice and Alex. I'm talking about baking shoe, not a brake accessory. A shoe is a pastry bun, round and golden, that melts in your mouth. Mm. So how do we prepare this shoe? To make this pastry, you're going to need flour, butter, sugar, and water. You will find all you need in the big pantry right over there. Got it! Now let's roll! Uh, he didn't tell us the quantities we needed. Don't worry, Jeremy. We just need a minute to think. Haha! Uh -huh. Grandpa Ted told us we needed to prove ourselves with logic. Well, maybe all we need to do is just take the same amount of each ingredient. That's logical, right? Excellent idea! Now I'm gonna take four packs of flour. I'm gonna take four packs of butter. Four packs of sugar. And four bottles. Well, now that we've started, we mix it up, we preheat the oven, and then it goes in the oven. Uh, oh. Chef Cookie, didn't you say that the bun should be round and golden? That's correct. Oh, no. I think that must mean they're ruined then. Don't worry about that, Lisa. Just tell me what's the problem with them. They're just too runny. Exactly right, Jeremy. So, if the mixture is too runny... We should use less water? Bravo, Alice. Come on, let's start again. Okay, we still need four packs of flour. And we need four packs of butter. Four packs of sugar. And one bottle of water. Ooh, ah. la 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 la, they're making my mouth water. They look so yummy. <laughs> All we need to do now is pile it up. Ta-da! What do you think, Mini Trucks? Is that the highest you can make a Chef Cookie? Well, yes, but why? Do you think I could do better than that? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think so. But if only... <gasps> Grandpa Ted! You're just in time! Tell me, what can I do you for? We're gonna need a module that allows us to fly and at the same time pile up the shoe bun. <laughs> oh, yes. I know exactly what you need. Drive in! <sighs> Chef Cookie, can you make more shoe buns? We're gonna make the biggest and tallest cake that Trucksville has ever seen! Woohoo! <laughs> But how are we going to deliver that to the town square in Trucksville? Hey, Mini Trucks, I have a new mission for you. Yeah, let's go! Thank you, Mini Trucks. Without your help today, I couldn't have ever made such an incredible cake. Woohoo! Mission accomplished! Bravo, Mini Trucks! You certainly deserve the Great Baker's Cup for your teamwork today! Woohoo! But this one's not for eating! <laughs> help! Help! Just walk through the dirty super net on Alex! Oh no, I've escaped from the net! I'm gonna hide here behind Jeremy! Hurry and make us a net shield! Pow, pow! Watch as I quickly make a spider truck super shield! What are you playing, Mini Trucks? We're playing spider 
spider truck. We're all imitating super spider superheroes. Oh, really? And how is that coming along? Very well, because it's so easy to copy spiders. <laughs> I'm not so sure, Alex. I know exactly what could put you to the test. Now everyone to truck control. Woohoo! Many trucks. Kim, the scientist, is studying spiders in the desert at this very moment. She has prepared a difficult challenge for you, so we will see if you're really capable of imitating them. Spiders just make webs, so I have to say that it can't be that difficult. <laughs> well, you'll see. I'll equip you with a suction cup winch, and I'll program the launch pad to send you as close as you can get to the oasis. Trucks, I hear you think you're capable of doing everything that spiders yes! do. Yes! <laughs> well, we'll see about that. First of all, spiders are extremely agile and are experienced at crawling down a wall. Huh? I challenge you to do the same thing. Yeah, that's easy. Careful, Alex. You must be capable of coming down as graciously as they do. Oh, she makes it look so mm -hmm. simple when she does it. Okay, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh. I'm gonna go down so slowly. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, good go. job! It looked so much easier when the spider did it. <laughs> so it's not so easy, is it? Lisa, you were nearly there. Remember the spider. She made several small jumps with her move. Okay, so we can't be too scared to make a few small jumps. Let's just all go at mm -hmm. once. One, two, three. Woohoo! Yay! Well done, Mini Trucks. You have succeeded at the first challenge. However, the second is a little more complicated. Watch carefully. Ah. Ooh. 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 Spiders are very agile and fast in making their webs. More importantly, these webs are extremely strong. Oh, look, she can even use it as a trampoline. That's right. It's now your turn. Hmm, but that seems a bit technical somehow. That doesn't really look like a web. Let's go. We can do this, but we just have to go a little bit faster, Jeremy. And you too, Alice. Uh, um, we're kind of stuck here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, I vote we just stop them. Alex, I'm not sure that what we did is a success. Sure it is, Lisa. Watch me. Oh. Huh? Hmm. But I don't understand. How does the spider do it? Just watch closely. The shape of the web isn't made up in a complicated way. Huh? I see it. Okay, so Alice and Jeremy, you're going to try to copy this shape. It looks just like a star. Got it. Alex, you and I are gonna make a spiral. Got it! Yeah! Oh, good! It's starting to look more like a real spider's web! Woo! Alex, would you like to have the honor in testing out its strength? Yeah! It is so strong! Woohoo! It's a giant <laughs> trampoline! Yay! Yay! So cool! Bravo! Yeah, you did it! Now you are just as agile and ingenious yeah. as the real spiders. <laughs> Oh, ah. wow, mini trucks. I must say, this is one big web you just made. Well, it's true that spiders are not just really good at this. They are also super intelligent. And they're cool because they spin their webs. Why, yes. And for your hard work, you just earned the spider truck cup. Woohoo! So cool. How about another go on the giant trampoline? <laughs> Hello there, mini trucks. That ball you have there looks brand new. Yes, we've just painted it. Well, good job, mini trucks. Come to think of it, I know exactly who would need your painting skills. Let's go, and I will explain everything at truck control. Yahoo! Yeah! Dear 
mini truck. Today, Amy the mechanic is doing her paint rounds and will need some help. I thought the four of you would be perfect. She's painting what exactly? She goes around and collects old objects and gives them a facelift by giving them a touch of paint. <laughs> oh, like we did with the ball? Exactly right. I will equip you with the paint modules and program the launch pad to send you off right away to a workshop. And we're ah. mission for the mini trucks! Yay! Yay! Four, three, two, one, mini truck, go! <laughs> Hello, Amy! Hello there, Mini Trucks. Are you ready to give a new look to old things? Yes! Well, it's actually called Restoration. What is this here? <laughs> That's an elevator bridge. We're going to take it with us. You will quickly understand what it's used for. Our first client of the day is at the restaurant. Chef Cookie! Hello, Chef Cookie. How are you, and what can we do for you today? Look at my old cauldron. It's lost all its color. Do you think you can do something to it? If you look carefully, there's a bit of old color left behind. That's right, and it's yellow. Sounds like a mission for me. Okay, here we go for a good dose of yellow. Oh, my, 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 it looks brand new. I didn't expect that. Thank you, Lisa. And one satisfied customer, huh? Who's our next customer, Amy? Oh. Zoe the coach. So it's off we go to the sports field. Woohoo! Hello, Zoe! And how can we be of assistance today? I have this old radio that I love to fit. It works really well, but no longer looks as nice. So then, Mini Trucks, who's going to paint this radio? I think this radio used to be green. Woohoo! Then this is a job for me! Okay, here it goes! Intense green! Yeah, that's it! Wow! Thank you, Alice! My radio looks 20 years younger! Mission accomplished! Bravo, Mini Trucks! Just one more customer on our list. However, I have a feeling this one might be a bit more complicated. Yeah, no worries! <laughs> Sam the Pirate! Hello there, Mini Trucks! Sam, you're our last customer! So what can we do for you? I would like for my old treasure chest to look as good as new and have that sparkle back. Do you think you can help me out? Oh, but it's purple. What should we do? We don't have that shade. According to my digital windshield, it would be possible to make purple by mixing two colors. Oh, yeah? Which ones? Too bad it doesn't say, so I think we're going to have to think for ourselves. Alex, so how about we try with ours? A bit of yellow. And a bit of red to just mix with it. You know that yellow and red make orange? Yeah, it's nice, but it's not purple. Lisa, how about we try? First off, a bit of blue. And a bit of yellow. Look, that makes green. That's my color, but still no purple. Alex and Jeremy, I'm thinking the two of you should give it a try. That's it. I'm glad you figured it out. You made purple. To make it, you need to mix blue with red. Yes, we did it! So now I just need to paint the chest. Hey there, Mini Trucks. How did your painting challenge go? They're just like professionals. My old chest is as good as new. For your hard work, you deserve the Restoration Painter's Cup. Woohoo! Hey, if you ask me, I think this cup could use a little touch of paint. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! The little turnip I was growing has disappeared! What? It must have run away! Turnips don't just run away, silly! I'm sure Alex must have eaten it in secret! Me? Eat a yucky turnip? Blah! How gross! But Jeremy likes them, so maybe it's him? No way! It wasn't me! Hello there, Mini Trucks! To find the real culprit of the turnip, you must carefully investigate! Grandpa Ted, do you know who it is? I know that it has got to be a cereal vegetable thief. 
If you would like to lead the investigation, follow me to truck control. Yippee! Yeah. <sighs> Over several days, vegetables have been disappearing from vegetable gardens. Detective Truck is working on this case. You should help him. Yes! Your mission is to find the culprit. But most importantly, you have to find some proof against them. We'll call ourselves the mini detectives of Truckville. I'm programming the launch pad. Have yeah. the case solving mini <sighs> trucks. Four, three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Hello, Detective Truck. Good day, mini trucks. So we understand you're investigating on the disappearing vegetables. Yes, we are in fact at the very spot where the thief committed their last crime. You can see the print mark from his tire here, too. And it's proof that the thief is a truck. Yes, and so how are you going to go about identifying it? We must find someone who can make the same print marks! Bravo, Lisa! I'm sorry I accused you earlier, Alex. The tire marks are far too large to be any of us. And I'm sorry that I accused you as well, Jeremy. But that means we have no suspects. Maybe it's Sam the Pirate. As we know, he can be a real bully. Many years ago, he stole a bolt from me, unfortunately. Follow me! Hi there, Hello. old sea urchin. This time I've got you. Hello, mini trucks. Detective Truck, what's going on? You should know that I've paid my parking meter. <laughs> there is a vegetable thief in the area, and they're leaving behind tire marks at the scene of the crime. Detective Truck has taken a picture, and we want to check that the marks were not yours. I assure you, I have nothing to hide. Look there! The markings from his tires are not the same. I wonder who it could be then. Oh, barnacles! Kim the scientist told me she was doing experiments on her vegetables. But it doesn't look like it could be her. Oh, I'm sure it's her. If I were you, I'd go check it out. Let's go now! Yahoo! Oh, no! What's the matter, Kim? Oh, it's you mini trucks. I was cultivating some carrots and they've all disappeared. My experiment has failed. Well, if Kim has been stolen from, then that means she can't be the culprit, can she? In any case, her tire marks don't match either. Look right here. These marks look exactly like the first one here. It's kind of weird that there's just one tire mark. A truck would leave several. Oh, yeah. the law. You are under arrest. But we know that a tire can't steal. Wait a minute. Oh, look, it's a snail. There are also salads, as well as Kim's carrots. And my turnip. But I still have to wonder how he could make the tire move. There, you can see he's installed a little ship's wheel. That's clever of him. Well, clever or not, this snail is in trouble and must stand trial. Oh, no, Detective Truck. I have another idea. With this vegetable garden, you will no longer need to take vegetables from anybody else. And if you want some help to look after it, you can just ask. Bravo, mini trucks! Not only have you found the culprit of the missing vegetables, but you also have found a better way than to judge this poor snail. You deserve the Big Heart Detective trophy for your work today. So good job. Yippee! Wow, we have all become super detectives! Here's proof! <laughs> <laughs>